football with an This is a look at the Frank Irwin Center where thousands are gathering this afternoon to celebrate the life of legendary Longhorn football coach Daryl Royal. Coach Royal died last Wednesday after a lengthy battle with Alzheimer's disease. He was 88. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Robert Maxwell. You know, Daryl Royal was the Longhorns winning as fo football coach, leading the team from 1957 to 1976 and to national championships in 1963, 69, and 70. Those who knew Coach described him as folksy but incredibly intelligent. Chris Sadegui is at the Frank Irwin Center with people who are gathering for Coach Royal's memorial. He taught not only about the game, but he taught about life. That's how the program describes Daryl K. Royal and the public at this memorial service will get a chance to say goodbye to a man whose influence went far beyond the football field. People started lining up long before the Irwin Center doors opened at around 1030. Even Bebo, the Texas mascot. This public service allows the whole UT community to say goodbye to one of the university icons. The president, William Powers, head coach, Mac Brown, and golfing great Ben Crenshaw are all among the speakers today, and Willie Nelson will sing. We spoke to some of the people here, fans and even some ex-players, all had their favorite stories to tell you about Daryl Royal. The public doesn't know a lot of things about Coach Royal that they should know. He, he was the finest coach in the world. I loved him there as a Red Raider fan. I said, I, I, you know, he was just magnetized to, to Daryl Royal. The Reverend Dr. Robert Ball will deliver the benediction and serenity prayer, and then this service will be closed with the Longhorn Band playing the Eyes of Texas. We're at the Irwin Center. Chris Sadegui, KXAN News.